right there. Uh, welcome to uh, this uh, update video. It's it it took a while. Let's just put it at that. But yeah, I had some big troubles with my microphone. Uh, too much too much noise was being picked up from my room behind me, besides me, and I was sick of it. So I decided to uninstall the drivers, and that was the worst mistake I've ever made because I couldn't reinstall them after that but yeah that's finally all behind me and I'm truly happy about that so let's get into the server <coughs> and if you have read my forum post before this video you will know that I uh, am opening the server to possible other players who want to join me I am currently uploading the mod pack I'm using. Uh, it's small. It's edited a little bit, but yeah, seems like we loaded in fine. <coughs> yeah, I uh, d had to disable a few mods that I knew, or at least I didn't use anymore. So I already removed them. So if you to request some of those mods. Sorry. But yeah. Uh, so, as you can see, a lot of uh, things have changed. Uh, let's I, want I want to go outside first. And of course, I'm getting messages. So, th the first thing you will notice is that I've started building my house. Um, a friend of mine has offered to help with this. Yes, he has not done so yet. So, yeah. So, I'm not sure when this will be finished. Maybe uh, some of uh, you can uh, help me. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the plan. That uh, this house gets finished sometime. Alright, uh, let's ignore that for now. So I want to talk about uh, this little farm uh, for a bit, and let me just back off for a while and let me feed the grinder because it's out of power again. But yeah, all right. So I've always wanted to make an automated uh, wood skeleton farm. Well, uh, I mean with a boss farm, and uh, I have. And it's basically two spawners, uh, two spawners, and then another spawner over there that spawns the waiter boss. Basically, what it uh, this one done is is uh, a draconic spawner, stabilized mob spawner, and it's upgraded to a tier two. I could possibly upgrade it to a tier. Uh, let me help it along a little bit. I could upgrade it to a tier 3, but I won't, won't just yet, because I don't think it would be useful. Uh, like I said, I do have a Wither, wither Boss Spawner. And as you can see, I use, I'm using a uh, B space uh, for, the, uh, for the Jabba Barrels. So that uh, the coal gets uh, distributed to this, but not that one for some reason. Don't ask me why. And uh, this was sort of a fun challenge for me. Uh, I found a YouTube video online that showed this build, and that was quite some time ago. And I was uh, able to uh, remake it. Only different part is that's going right in the video. It was going left. So yeah. And as you can see, it's. Uh, uh, it has killed uh, 36 winners so far. And uh, yeah, I don't <coughs> need those. I uh, still have to filter them and everything. But yeah, um, as you can see, there is some redstone and uh, energy going uh, to the autonomous activators and then a few block placers. So, what my idea was is to have a switch that could turn it on and off. And does it perfectly, basically. This is set to a 5 second timer. 
and as soon as I flip the switch uh, a weather will be spot I won't do that now because it's really loud because reasons uh, I, I don't know why probably just my audio settings uh, something else I've built were these two two farms uh, these are just for every day trading with the village over there if I need emeralds or anything and then we have my treasure my precious yeah no uh, Maxwell in the FTB chat in the I IRC uh, showed me uh, this trick that in Agri Crafts you could uh, turn this on and well it's been going ever since uh, basically what it does is I got a reinforced watering can and as you can see I do have full health but it's uh, more the reason uh, well the watering can is from my ol old world that went completely corrupt by my stadium and I built up this one up from scratch basically but yeah the watering can feeds this that the harvester harvests them without breaking the crops and everything which will export it to this chest over here this chest will pull them out which will make the nooks into diamonds and the diamonds into blocks of diamonds which results in this and yes I could expand it like uh, but I need to find the, mo the ores for it like if you go down here you can see diamond ore well for every plant there needs to be one diamond ore one block beneath the grass block or farmland or soil uh, and god that's loud uh, this is uh, meant for so mob soul farming so I can make the resurrection stones and everything for uh, the draconic evolution to get the awakened draconium it's uh, not going well they uh, do not want to drop their souls. Surrender your souls. And of course, creepers n try and sneak up on me. Not that that matters. Uh, yeah, of course, I made a QED for uh, the end quarry, it was, I think. And now let's get on to the main item my energy core. Now, you see this chest here, like, it's in a really weird spot. Well, if you look past it, you can see some uh, conduit cables, which leads to this area, and I'm getting way dirt, and no surprise there. Yeah, I have a nether star generator here, with a test rack set up, because the cables weren't doing it for me. And, as you can see, it's, uh, I'm putting a lot of energy. It's Wait, what? Why is it not updating? That's weird. It should automatically update. But yeah. Uh, mainly for the rest, everything is the same. Oh, no. Okay. I got a. a f I was able to build a AE system. And if you go back here. Yeah, I swap this chest out with this one. This one gets filled, uh, I can break it, then replace it here, and it gets all important, blah 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 blah. But yeah, uh, basically I got a bit of automation going on here. Basically these will make the three different types of uh, processors. And then I used to have one there with uh, silicon. I had it here before, but it would constantly get stuck. I don't know why or how, so I decided to remove it mm. and place here. But then something was placed here, and I wanted that gone, and I accidentally broke it, and I never replaced it. But yeah, this will automatically make my uh, processors by the way of simply filtering with and the IO cables which I didn't know it could do and then get it imported to here <coughs> yeah and as you can see I'm uh, a busy bee like it's, it's getting full but 
not full enough if you know what I mean like this is not a lot of uh, stuff if you ask me and then we have some basic upgrades to the base like a wireless charger for my Dragonic gear it did crash me one time I'm not sure why and I do not want to find out why and of course I have a basic enchanter here which is very useful way better than this piece of crap and of course I got a disenchanter here uh, it broke down my nether portal for a good reason and uh, that's my mining world I can show you the upgrade there which I like very much so yeah this is where my quarry was left a big ugly hole and I had to put water around it because otherwise the lava would destroy my things and stuff now I got this one running and currently it's doing a 499 by 499 area I believe and as you can see it's uh <coughs> going a bit too fast like I got a speed upgrade and a fortune upgrade power drain is immense but it's I somehow am able to stabilize it I just need to make some uh, speed upgrades for this guy so he can uh, do that better and then the same should happen uh, in my uh, base itself too but that's something for the other time and yeah back to the nether portal I've decided to replace it with books like I can go to the end, no problem, of course, the end, we all know it, but yeah, here, here I uh, already have, or have done the ritual for the resurrection and s awakened multiple, uh, or awakened the thing twice, the awakened draconium, yeah, besides that, it there isn't a lot to show anymore, to be honest. Alright, let me see. Yeah, something's wrong again. Yeah, I've had a few problems with power gen from the Nether Star generator. Like, it shoots uh, output around 96 million RF. But sometimes it just doesn't want to do that. Huh. Anyways, yeah, and of course I have a small Ars Magica setup, but I'm not sure if that is going to stay there. Uh, my uh, emergency food generator, but I got uh, 4K raw beef, and I go still got enough steak to last me a while. But yeah, that was pretty much the update video for now. Also, I would recommend that you read my post if you are interested in playing with me or against me even if you really are that competitive. Uh, do keep in mind, I am the OP. I can kill Ben, you at any moment, basically. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave a follow or subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next updates.